All right, let's get started. So basically, uh, what we want to talk about today is our, um, our experience with company study. You know, how did it go on the first day, and then on the second day, on the third day. And then we have a few questions that are going to get our discussion. And that are, uh, let me put them in the chat box because I um, would love to hear your stories and how you actually did it. How, you, how are you coming along uh, with the company study generally? Do you feel like it's useful? Do you feel anything you learned? So yeah, I'm copying the questions. Okay, got it. In case, oh, sorry, one minute, one minute. So, if you want to push. What would you say? Okay. Thank okay. you. So, and uh, I have the questions ready in the chat box. And uh, basically why we want to emphasize on the company search when doing the, uh, you know, when doing the applications is the fact that we have always, like we have always said, is the fact that companies want someone they can relate to. They want someone who can also relate to them. They want someone who understands what they are doing and who understands what their part is going to be when they get hired. They just want to see basically, you know, the whole picture of who you are and how well or 100% you fit into their picture as well. And then, so uh, this morning I was having a conversation with Hillary, um, getting a few points that I want to add uh, in the upcoming sessions for the interview preparation. I was trying to understand like, what are the current questions are they asking you in the interviews you are taking? And then one of the things uh, he said that they, uh, that, that, that the, the, the hiring manager asked him was, uh, what advice would you give to a startup? Because that company is a startup, they are still trying to put their puzzles in order, trying to put everything together. And they want to understand if someone like Hillary understands uh, what struggles or what statuses a startup go through from one phase to another. They want to understand if you actually understand the ecosystem of the, the startup or anything generally, or if you can give them solid advices on how you can proceed. That means actually, that's, that's where they test that you actually understand what you are coming to be doing. You know, because mostly maybe they won't give you an onboarding. So they want someone who's high, high test, you know. So that means Hillary maybe would have said when you are hiring people, hire people who can take up tasks without needing delegation because you do not have time to check everybody's work as you're still a small team. And also talking about passion, uh, I, I like the idea Hillary gave him. It was like, you know, get people who are passionate about what you are doing. Because if you get people who are obsessed with your product, like you are obsessed with your product, you are going to be having the same understanding of everything. You're going to be challenging each other. And, you know, it is it is it. And that means, you know, with that whole conversation brings you back to the fact that if maybe Hillary didn't do um, a base, a, a base search company search to understand that this is a startup to understand that um, maybe what they are currently talking about uh, to understand uh, actually like prompt questions when it comes to startups how they the finances work how the hiring works 
uh, the struggles they go through, everything and the successes they go through, it wouldn't have, I mean, he would have maybe got shocked and give random ideas. But when you do your company research well, you get some really solid ideas. You tell them what they want to hear. So that that is like one proof I also got you this morning, you know, that company search, doing your company study is a very big, crucial point or crucial thing to do when you are job hunting. So, and that's why actually we are always emphasizing on company study. That is why we are having this session today. And that is why we are going to be having um, uh, other three challenges to be submitted today, tomorrow, and Thursday on company study. They will be shared shortly in, in the drive. You will see it. But yeah, currently, let's have a discussion. Let's have a discussion, and then you will take over to do the company study again. The, it, this is going to be the last round, by the way. You won't have to do it again. But we want you to get familiar with it, to learn different techniques from your fellows, and to also uh, take notes because the more you do it, the more you become familiar with it and the more it won't be taking so much time on you when you start the job application, when you, when you start the job application, basically. So yeah, let's get started. Uh, I think as I was speaking, I also gave you enough time to look at the questions we have, but let me go through each one of them. And then we will go around the table sharing our experiences um, with the company study. With those who just, uh, uh, yeah, with the company study we did. So for those who just joined, um, typing the questions again in the chat box so that you can see them. The number one question is, what research technique did you find most effective in gathering information about the company? Here we are talking about the research technique. Anything you have used that you find most effective in gathering information about the company, please share with us. Number two, what challenges did you face during the assignment and how did you overcome them? Tell us about those challenges that you faced, um, you know, in the middle of it or someone uh, like Johannes in, in the previous stand up was saying, like, he feels like it's a lot of things to do, but we want to understand. It, it, was that a challenge or was there a challenge behind that in how, you know, just tell us about your experience. Let me not give examples. And then number three, what was the coolest piece of information you found about the company? Coolest piece of information, just give us one key. And then number four, if you had to pitch one of those companies, products or services to us here, what would you say? You do not have to pitch like a sales manager, but tell us basically what's interesting about that company. Tell us if you had to pitch this to us, you know, tell us you read about OpenAI, what interesting factor would you talk about? That, of course, by pitching, you always have to talk about an interesting factor. So yeah, let's have that discussion. Who wants to go first? Anyone who wants to go first, or if not, I can nominate, I can nominate Wandera. Wandera, good morning. Good morning, Pastor and Good morning, everyone. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, so uh, the first question. Mm. Uh, the, the research technique I found most effective was uh, LinkedIn. Going to the company's LinkedIn account and reading about uh, reading about them from there and then uh, also another technique i found useful was their website it depended on okay for the website it depended it was dependent on the on uh, the company the older the company if a company was started like 10 20 years ago the information was much much more clear or if the company was uh, really active in the market like open ai Databricks and Snowflake. So there was still there were so many articles about them online from different like blogs. So yeah. Yeah. So those are the techniques I use mainly websites, blogs, and uh, LinkedIn. Okay, that's very great. Continue to the second one. Martin. 
the biggest challenge I faced was uh, when I was uh, working on the smaller companies, like uh, perplexity. Yeah, I did perplexity, and perplexity didn't. They, they didn't. They, they, there isn't really any information on perplexity, like on their website. Like they haven't really. I don't know if it's within the company. They haven't really been able to share. They haven't been able to share. Uh, yeah information about uh, the company like even when i went to their about us even on their linkedin there isn't much information so yeah i think that was the biggest biggest challenge i have i first i was doing uh, i was doing yeah and also i think a challenge i, I don't know if it was just me but uh, uh like some of the companies had so much information and uh, i would have wanted to share it but i since what like I don't know how to like break down my break down the information and make it like limited so that I can I can share the most important things. So I think uh, that's something I have I struggled with. With then the third question. Mm -hmm. Third and fourth. Third and fourth, uh, I'm going to uh, I'm going to have to. I'll I'll love to get back to you because I did I, I did a couple of companies, so I, I don't know if yeah, I can get back yeah. to you and share the. Yeah, share. yeah. yeah let me get back to you and then I share what I really. Yeah, like okay, for okay, uh, I can just uh, I, I don't know if I can share without necessarily having to explain it okay. in detail, but I, I'd like to explain okay. it in detail, so maybe I can get back to you after. Someone else comes in, then I'll get back to you. Um, okay, I can see. Um, okay, I can see. I'm recording on your side. Okay. So I was going to say, uh, it just it doesn't have to be tough uh, answer to give. Just tell us uh, with the company, just choose one company, the one that you remember the most, and then tell answer the third and fourth questions accordingly no wrong or right answer just tell us yeah no okay okay so uh the, the, the third question i did data bricks and uh, i think the most uh uh okay i don't know if i don't know if this is information but i they uh, i think this year they introduced i think uh, uh, it's a lake house. It's a data lake house. It's uh, it's um, how can I explain it? it, it it's like it, it, it's the combination of a data warehouse and a data lake. I think that's something they introduced. I think this interesting. And then one oh, if you if I, um, what did I say? Wait, okay, uh, the fourth question is very very tricky for me because uh, if. Uh, I uh, I don't really really I don't think I really have an answer based on okay okay not like for perplexity because perplexity uh, I would suggest they would uh, they would give us a customer more information about the company so that we get to know more about them and their product because they don't really explain their product really well I know that uh, I know that perplexity is like. Um, yeah. Okay, I know it. I, I know companies like OpenAI use perplexity, but there isn't really enough clear information what they do exactly. So I think my advice to perplexity would be they would, they would put out more information out there about their product and service so that we have like a clear, clear understanding on who they are and what they do. I don't know if uh, I've answered that well. Okay. Yeah. No worries completely got your points. Thanks for sharing, Wandera. Thanks for sharing. Um, let's go to the next person. Who wants to go next? Uh, let's volunteer to answer. Okay, Daisy. Uh, hello, everyone. So the company that I found to be most interesting for me was Publicity AI. And I didn't really know about it until I did the assignment. So it was the second company that I did. And um, yeah, as Martin said, there were not that many much information on their website, but I found a lot of it on blogs, like people who are interested about the company. So 
Um, the first question was, sorry, let me just go back to the questions. Uh, research techniques. So yeah, I mostly relied on blogs and people who have interest in the company because there's a lot of people who also find it interesting and they've written about it. So I mostly relied on blogs. And um, the other question, challenges. The biggest challenge was, uh, and also for my research techniques, I was searching for specific topics. So I would search for public AI history or public AI um, structured, yeah, specific topics one at a time. That was easier, that made it easier. And um, for the challenges, the thing that I struggled to find information on was the structure for the company. Uh, in comparison to OpenAI, OpenAI have their structure on their website. So it's easy to see how the flow of authority works in the company, how they're related to Microsoft. But for publicity was a bit difficult. I only found one, one organizational chart and it wasn't complete. Yeah, so that was my biggest challenge. And uh, yeah, I'm interested to know how people are finding information on the organizational structure and also on the company values. That's something else that I struggled with. And um, for the coolest piece of information, Perplexity AI is just um, their product offering. What they do is very interesting for me, especially how the, the founders came together. The founders were from companies like OpenAI, Databricks. So they're from these big, big companies. And I found that to be quite interesting. So for me, I was wondering how they met, you know, how they came together to and came up with this idea, which people are finding to be interesting because public AI is now like a, it's rising very fast because its product is, it's offering um, a search engine that, that also uses AI. And that's a, a really interesting idea. And it's giving competition for Google, considering Google has dominated the industry for a very long time. And um, I've, a few days later, I saw this post on LinkedIn the thing about um, GPT has also launched its own search GPT. So if that, so now um, I was wondering how that's going to affect perplexity AI's stand in the market, considering search GPT is way more powerful than perplexity AI. Yeah. And um, what else? Oh yeah, so the, the product that I would pitch is it, the search engine, the one that uses um, AI to deliver questions. I also try that product and it's really good. Yeah. Super, super easy. Thank you so much for detailed, very detailed um, answers because we, we got to understand why this was an interesting company for you. We get to understand that what they are currently doing with having you know the ai based search engine we got to understand uh how they are yet to struggle the biggest competition which we gpt you know completely so thanks for sharing that and um so one last question i can ask you um i can ask you daisy so what are your key learnings did you take away from this exercise from looking up all those informations? I learned that there's a lot you can you can find out about a company by doing research by doing a quick research. There's a lot you can find out that would be useful just even for having regular conversations for an interview it just it's like a knowledge base yeah yeah completely and, uh, and and i'm very pretty sure that if you were to be in an interview with um uh, with a company and then maybe they prompt us you know a question that is related with oh, what what kind of advice would you give a company in our industry and then you prompt the fact that you know about the competition they are yet to face because of you know GPT is releasing kind of the same product. 
And you also propose the solution that you may think of, especially that is also related with what you will be coming to do within your department. You will be a big value. You will be a big value. Do we understand that you're keeping up with the trends of what's happening? And you understand that the company is maybe uh, trying to put solution pieces together on what they are going to be doing for, moving forward and the solutions you can bring on board. I'm pretty sure you're going to be standing out over thousands of other applicants who just applied because they have the knowledge. Because always companies want someone who speak the same language as us. So really well done, really well done. That, that was a really thorough research. Okay, let's move forward to Shamil. Okay, uh, good, good afternoon everyone. So, uh, yeah. Uh, I actually made uh, research. So uh, the first the first thing I did while uh, researching was to start with something I know. So oh, so like most of the companies that were listed, I have I have been familiar with some of them, but not all of them. So more fam the more familiar I am is like OpenAI. So their products were easier to identify. So I can. I can practice those on OpenAI. So on my research technique, I implemented that. So yeah, I get to finish the the challenge on time. So because I started with something what I know. So one of the things I found out on research technique is like start from what you know, I guess. So yeah, the other thing is I started with like seeing links from of, of, of from their official websites like link, linkedin not mostly but mostly i i did website research in google so i came to a conclusion that there is a lot more information than i expected and it's very hard to distill it so i i did what uh, chat gpt was made for so like distilling information and getting the actual uh, keywords. So that's what I did. I gave I gave it the link, the context I wanted to uh, be output. So it actually did well. So I get to have high level summary. If I wanted to actually dig deeper on what uh, the uh, actual or on the details of it, so I would actually move on to that. So. I can actually uh, like corner the LLM so that it couldn't as well hallucinate since I gave it the context. So that's what one of the methods I used. So it, it proved effective uh, from my understanding. So yeah, this is this is the research thing, the two research techniques I, I employed. So yeah, the challenge, the challenge as I said earlier is like sometimes too much information could uh, could we it is it is hard for, to differentiate between the noise and the actual gem so yeah uh, time time could be another challenge uh, yes so it's it's, it's a bit uh, strict and i actually i think i started a bit late because i had to do other tasks also so yeah uh, okay the coolest piece of information okay uh as I said earlier, OpenAI, I had a lot of information, but not much on that. But one of the information I found from uh, was Databricks. I hadn't had much information on Databricks. So I, I like their company culture. Uh, yeah, one of the company cultures I found was first principles thinking. It's really cool. It's like asking why what is like wh what is the original thought process on that so that is that's how most innovations work so it's it's i found it after i found that cool so also like it's a, re a really huge company it's like it was valued like 43 billion which was a shock to me so yes and uh in that it's actually had uh like most of more than half of the Fortune 500 companies use that data bricks. Also, that uh, what do we call? Yeah, Apache Spark. Yeah, like most of the employees came from like 
were the founders of Apache Spark. So, yeah, like uh, a really good experience, like PhD candidates, I guess. That that was also impressive somehow to start another business. Uh, yeah, the yeah also also the other thing is uh, they they open source an, an email flow like which I used sometime in our challenge. It is a really good product that actually like uh, tests the email flow or uh, the life cycle like uh, logs the life cycle of any email product from. Uh, start to finish so it, it's cool that they actually are contributing to the community something we could use for free so i think it can i can, i did summarize three and four so i i pitched the data, databricks i guess this these are the most cool things about the databricks All right, thank you so much, Shamil. Thank you so much. That, that was also a deep thorough research. And I'm also surprised they are worth all those billions of dollars. God, you know, so that, that's super great to know. And uh, so if I can also ask you the same last question, what were your key takeaways or key main learnings from this exercise? uh yeah i think i mentioned them but uh, like information is too much like distilling through the noise is a little bit harder because like now now nowadays we have like chat gpt using it properly might actually uh, like truly be an amazing thing so also start from what what you know yeah, just so you build up the confidence. Because if I started with Databricks, I wouldn't have much success on the other consecutive ones. So I built a template where uh, I don't know if you see my submissions, almost all of them are the same. Because I started with OpenAI in that way, I get to actually see how the others have been, could could be in the same way. So for the, the layouts, the for example the history of the companies and everything so yeah like starting from what i know helped a lot okay. all right got it got it shamil really great and uh yeah for the bigger companies that's a very good takeaway like start with what you know especially you know uh, with the companies that are famous, you all, always mostly know, I think, or two. So you can start with that and then look up uh, all other information. And of course, yes, bigger companies have too much information everywhere. So knowing what to take and not what to take, it may be hard. But also, that is the main reason that we did the company study tutorial and also gave the challenge with the key things that you can look up to, you know, key five things that you can look up to. And then for the rest of the information, like the trendings and everything, you can just search, search them up, you know, but for the key ones, those are informations that I think are straight and are easy to get. But yeah, all right, thanks for sharing, Shamil. So let's take two more people to tell us how is it. All right, Ahmed. Hi, people. Okay. Uh, uh, for my research technique, actually, I didn't have a specific technique. It's uh, a new experience for me. So I just went to the company website. I started with OpenAI. I don't know why most people start with it. I feel like it's something uh, strange a little bit, but. Uh, maybe because we worked uh, on it in the program. So I went to the website and uh, actually I felt confident after the session that I know exactly what I'm looking for, but uh, I didn't because I uh, lost in the information about the company and 
then went to the LinkedIn, trying to know people who are there, uh, the size of the company. So uh, LinkedIn uh, gave me the most important uh, information quickly. But uh, then I back to the website to see the culture and this stuff. So it took me a long time, really, like five hours. And uh, the bad part of this, uh, I feel now, if you ask me anything about the open AI, I will not remember anything. So this is uh, bring us back to the main goal of this, uh, uh, of this uh, company study. Because uh, if now I'm not remembering this stuff, uh, what about when I'm applying for a 200 uh, company? So uh, summarizing this important information and saving them uh, will be like a great idea. So I think this is the purpose of the, of the challenge. Okay, for the next question. Uh, the coolest piece uh the coolest piece uh i remember their teamwork uh team spirit uh, they uh, they are saying something about uh, uh there is no no else uh, there is no pro uh, sorry uh something like take them my problem so this is i like this part because it show uh the teamwork uh i'm not sure if i remember a service or product can be uh valuable for an academy but uh, maybe i will answer this question later so that's it actually i think uh the challenging part that i faced is uh time because i feel like uh i'm using i'm losing time uh looking for a company because sometimes i find uh, like uh, when i was uh, looking for a scale a scale air uh, data break, sorry i found uh, apache spark uh, and uh, if they bought the company i guess uh so I went to search about uh, what Spark. So I feel like uh, I'm losing the the main points when I'm uh, looking uh, for a company. Uh, when I'm studying the company, so I because of that I I take too I took too time too much time. So uh, this is was one of uh, one challenge I faced. But uh, I hope I learned from my mistakes and. This would be helpful for me. Okay. Uh, all right. Uh, but by the way, with time being an issue, uh, how long did it take you on the first day and then on the second day and then on the third day? Was it still the same length of time or, you know, just tell us? Okay. Uh, for the first day, I took five hours. For the second day, I guess there are three hours. And uh, Johannes uh, suggested uh, Publicity AI, so I used it for the cell company. I think it took me like uh, two hours uh, because I uh, went to the website and also to the LinkedIn. Uh, I didn't use Publicity uh, just alone, so uh, I think it was two hours. Okay. All right, two hours, two hours. Okay, okay. Let's see if there is any improvement we can. Um, um, well, okay. L let's see if there is any improvements that we are going to be seeing with these week's challenges on how we are going to be using our time effectively. So, I can't wait for the next Monday from you, Ahmed, to tell us if it's still taking you two hours, or if it has reduced to one hour maximum. Okay, so thanks for sharing. Um, okay, sorry for that. I was trying to answer. Um, all right, uh, let's go forward to one last person. Who wants to go last? Okay, salam out.
Okay, so late, so I didn't see the questions, but um, I, I think I've analyzed what the questions were based off the other people's answers. So correct me if I'm wrong. <clears throat> so the first one I think is, okay. Okay, so research tip is the probably most effective for the information. <laughs> Sorry. So my approach to the research company study was first, uh, out of the companies listed, I, I tried to choose the ones that are most relevant to my uh, chosen field, like my chosen field. I tried to choose those so I can, I didn't want to have my ideas spread out. So uh, was those that were relevant to my stream or my track, my chosen track. So uh, after doing that, uh, um, I the given resources that we were supposed to check were LinkedIn, Crunchbase, and Glassdoor. So I was I made sure to cover all of those for each company and just to not miss any critical points or any points that I shouldn't know if I was to have an interview with these companies. So that was the way I went about it. And um, going through like the first time it was a bit challenging because I didn't even have enough data about it. I was doing perplexity AI and they don't have much information available in a clear way. So that took a bit much time. So uh, I paused doing that and then went into OpenAI. So OpenAI was my first admission. OpenAI had very bad information. So um, like Abu Bakr said, what I did was um, I gathered all the information and then fed it to ChatGPT, and then seeing the main points that I should focus on, and then went back to Crunchbase. Crunchbase also gives a very summarized, uh, least it in a very summarized manner, a way where like the founders, everything like that, you, we can find it on Crunchbase. So I used Crunchbase for that summarized information, and then went about went about to the other information as well. And then going through the next two company studies was easier because I already had an outline of what I wanted, to, what uh, I was looking for. So I just looked up certain information about the companies on their page and the, on LinkedIn and on their own websites as well. So the challenge, the challenge I faced mainly was for perplexity AI because they didn't have much information. And what I did was I just tried to look on different websites and different platforms to find those um, information. So the piece of information I found out about the company, um, I don't, I don't, I, I can't remember at the top of my head right now. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Mm, oh, what did you say you can't remember the coolest piece of information? Yes, yes. Mm, you may find one. You may find one because that's the only thing that you should be remembering aside from every other thing. You can remember one thing, it's enough. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to remember, but um, mm -hmm. so perplexity does have the uh, does have a motto of saying this is where knowledge um, the place begins. So that's interesting because they provide data to everybody. So that's the interesting thing, I guess. Thank you. No worries. No worries. Thanks for sharing as well. So, um, well, I'm so happy to hear your experience in the company research and I can hear that you took this as a personal assignment and really went through it. So really well done.
And to those who took it lightly, we hope that you make a difference with the with, with this week's submission. And you are going to be seeing the challenge doc in the drive, but it, it, it's not like a lot of things changed. It's that this time you have to choose for each day, for each day submission, you have to choose a company of your choice, a company of your choice. We won't be giving a list of companies to look up to, but you just look up on a company of your choice and then answer the same questions and then submit. And uh, that means you have to choose a total of three companies of your choice and then submit today and then tomorrow and then Thursday. We do not have a lot of commitments as we haven't started to apply yet. So let's aim to submit on time. Let's not meet someone to, in tomorrow's stand up saying that they missed the submission. No, this is the, the time to really practice being on time and delivering uh, what you are expected to deliver because the more you practice it, the more you can talk out them out when you're asked about any behavior question that is related with that in any interview that you are going to be meeting in the upcoming days. So let's start to practice that, avoid missing deadlines and then submit quality submissions. Really looking forward to that. And then uh, to summarize some of the key learnings we got from this discussion is that uh, time is still an issue to majority of us. So taking like, two hours, juggling around, you know, trying to find information and stuff is still an issue. So try to dare yourself this time, set up a timer, maybe one hour difference, and then um, start working on it. Maybe even, um, you know, check those sections. We have like five patients, make each patient uh, give each question some minutes. Say like the first question, maybe because it's a background and you know backgrounds are easy to find. So let's say I'll take 10 minutes to find this. And then for the next question, because of how big it can be, then I will give it 20 minutes maybe or 30 minutes. It's just how you want to allocate time to each one of the question, I can really suggest that you do you do that and then see how long it's going to be taking you. And also with finding uh, information out of many information, but with a very few information you can find or that you already know, or that you can find somewhere near you, maybe from somebody's article or somebody's blog post, anywhere near, instead of just going to the website and trying to look up, to look up a lot of things. So try different strategies uh, if you still want to improve today. And then to those who oh, is still like, uh, you know, there was someone like Enoch, I think it's, it's only Enoch's case to say that it just took them 30 minutes maximum. Try to look through, are you, um, you know, why, why is it taking you less minutes? Is it because you know a lot about those companies already? Or is it because there are informations that you are overlooking and not focusing to? So, you know, either if you got positive or negative results with the previous company study, try to assess yourself this time and see what you are doing good and what you are not doing good and what you can improve. This is solely for our self-learning purpose, you know, as trainees. So let's make it a personal assignment to improve on this. And we can't wait in tomorrow's stand up to hear what's changed or what new strategy did you use or, you know, anything, anything. Okay, Enoch. Okay. Uh... I think one advantage that I got uh, without really knowing it is I, I chose like the bigger companies uh, that, that had more information about them. Uh, another thing I did was like I Googled the questions directly, like instead of going to OpenAI's uh, website and looking for history, I just Googled uh, OpenAI history and it takes you directly to their website section that talks about the history. Like it could take some time going into the website yourself and like finding out the section with the history and uh, the, the, the other ones, the strategies and stuff like that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that was a good approach as well. Thanks for sharing. 
Um, all right, so let's look forward to the next session on interview preparation. Uh, we are going to be having a tutorial only, and then I have a discussion with uh, those who have gone through interviews just to tell us uh, why, what are the hiring managers focusing on now, uh, especially that the session will be just a bit not technical. So, uh, no, no, not technical, like, for instance, what I want to mean is, for instance, Hillary told me that they were asking about RAG and LLMs and questions that are related with that. So the session is not going to be about that. It's going to be about the general concept of interview preparation. But then the discussion we focus on then uh, what's going on in the today's hiring process, just from the people who have had this experience so far, so that then they tell us more about the drug and LLMs and the questions that are coming with it. So yeah, see you all there. Thank you so much for joining.